In this video, we look at procedural, functional, and data abstraction. This video dives into the detail behind specific forms of abstraction you need to be aware of for the exam. It assumes you already have a general understanding of the concept and the importance of abstraction. If you've not yet seen them, please go back and watch the previous two videos first. So let's recap. Abstraction simply refers to the process of separating ideas from reality. In the exam, however, you need to know about these specific forms of abstraction in more detail. Procedural, functional, data and problem abstraction. This video is going to focus on the first three and the next video will tackle problem abstraction. So let's start with procedural abstraction. The result of abstracting away the actual values used in any particular computation is a computational pattern or method, a procedure. And this is the essence of procedural abstraction. The formula shown on the right, a times b plus c, is a procedure and the results of procedural abstraction. So what about functional abstraction? Well, the result of procedural abstraction is a procedure, not a function. To get a function requires yet another abstraction, which disregards the internal computational method. This is now functional abstraction. So this time we ignore the actual computational method required to calculate the result, and what we end up with is our functional abstraction. With this, all we need to do is supply the correct number, order and type of inputs required in order to get the output. And finally, let's look at data abstraction. This is a methodology that enables us to isolate how a compound data structure is used from the internal details of how it's constructed. Consider the stack data structure, which we've looked at previously. What actually makes a stack a stack? Well, simply that it's been implemented or coded in a way that you can carry out the operations of a stack. Can we check if it's empty, check if it's full? Can we push an item onto the stack, pop an item off the stack and peek at the top of the stack? How the data structure has actually been coded behind the scenes is irrelevant as long as the data structure behaves like a stack. It could have been coded using an array, a linked list, or even a set of objects using OOP. It will likely make use of variables that act as pointers or references tracking the top of the stack. Provided the data structure behaves like a stack, we don't need to worry about the specific implementation. And this is data abstraction. Data abstraction allows us to use compound data structures without knowing the details of how those structures have been internally implemented. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is procedural abstraction? What is functional abstraction? And what is data abstraction? <laughs> 